Nurseman from Simpsons.com. I'm going to be showing you how to install the well, newer versions of the X key. Now, some of the changes to this model is how the SD card is actually put into the X key. Instead of opening the cartridge like you used to, it just plugs right in. There you go, just pop right in. And if you're not dealing with a um, micro SD, a micro B, micro B adapter anymore, you have a micro B that comes with, regular USB port. And you have this baby right here. This makes it where you don't have to drill a hole in the back of your Xbox like you had to with the previous model. And it comes with a smaller version like this and a longer version, just in case you uh, want to do something a little different. But they're the same connection, so don't worry about that. Um, plugins, the remote, and this little adapter right here, that we'll get to later. It's really easy to use, don't worry. Okay, first thing I want to do is plug the key in to the, well, I guess for the video sakes, to the, this guy in. That's real important that you do it right. The blue one, when going to the, the X key, they pay, uh, facing down. The silver stripes on the back are facing up. Now just slide it right on in. You don't have to push it deep in or nothing, just can be a pain sometimes though. Push it in, lock it with the black little lock right there, and there you go. Don't, don't rip it. Um, now, it's so important to get these plugins right also. The top ones are going to be from the Xbox to X key. The bottom ones are X key to DVD drive. So I would suggest plugging the X key to DVD drive ones in real quick. Make sure you get them in correctly. There you go. And this guy. Okay, so those are playing into the DVD drive. The other two, and obviously from the Xbox. Yeah. It could be a bit confusing. There you go. That's where it's really important. Right here, where it's going to come out, it's not in this little spot right here. Because it's not long enough. Plug into the adapter, plug into here. So that's where that's going to be. Not long enough. So what I'm going to do is have it come down underneath this. And inside, well, it's more for a fat model, of course. There's a little uh, crack. So I can't see it very well at all. That's what I'm going to slide into. So real quick, I'll plug in my DVD drive. Before you put the DVD drive all the way, I'm going to slide this down like crap. I'll show you right now. Maybe you can't see this thing, I'm sorry. I want to make sure the X key is fit and snug on the metal piece, and this guy comes out. Now, it will not pinch when you plug this in, if you don't use an HDMI. There you go. There's no pinching at all. So. And now, to start putting across the back the other. With the last one, you had to make a hole, and that will probably take off the metal brace. Cool. So we'll have that brace back on. And there's no reason to upgrade from the last ball to this one if you have it. There's no, yeah, no worries. So you do have the first one, then you're so good.
So when you're putting back in now, that very careful with this right here. This has to go through. So I would suggest you this off from the front first. Just like it was uh, earlier, go make sure the blue right here is going to be facing back. Now you probably can't see it, but on here it is it says X key, so the blue needs to face the X key little symbol. So it might be a little hard because it's not, it does not have a little black latch like it did inside. And there we go. So I'm going to right in to here. Yeah, if we can find out which way it goes. There we go. Put the rest of the coffee together. After the USB, I'm gonna plug in the just like that. The USB micro B, so I plug into the remote. And you're gonna plug your uh, your hub or your USB drive or an external DVD or an external hard drive into that part. There we go. So instead of having a hollow back of your console, you know. As I showed earlier, this will plug without pinching anything. So, that's how you set. This is a new model of the X key. That's installation. Now, this is Raiders Fan from Samsons.com. There you go. So, I'm going to show you how to set up your .cfg file so you can use the ISO menu to where you can choose your games from your TV or monitor or whatever without having to use the remote. And whenever you receive your X key, it's most likely going to have firmware 1.01. I would suggest updating it with the 1.0C 1.06 SD image. Now this is going to make things easier for you. Update uh, less chance of being of corrupting your SD card. So what you want to do is open up USB image tool. Start in device mode, select your SD card, hit restore. Now it's going to be type A, type B. First try type A, hit yes. Now if you get error saying that the file is too big for the SD card, then select type B. Okay, so the SD card is now set up. They want to open it. Drop your firmware in there. There we go. And here you can also drop your 
No, you cannot. Okay. Now your root FS and your UI image. This is going to have to be updated via the hard drive. So you can look up a tutorial on how to uh, do that if you're not for sure on it. All you have to do is launch your S launch your Xbox with everything plugged up and have these two files, the root FS and the UI image and the root of your hard drive, wherever you're using. And on your SD card or on your remote, it'll say updating. Once it says update complete, restart Xbox, restart Xbox, and you're good to go. Now, this pesky CFG file. Open it in Notepad. And if you do not have the Wi Fi doggle, then don't worry about anything else except right here on the bottom where it says menu ISO equals Y. When you get it, it should first start with N, just change it to Y and save it. This will activate the ISO menu, which is very worth it. So that's about it from here. All that will go in here is just your former.bin file. Or if you're using a slim Xbox, it's going to be named dummy.bin. So firmware.bin is only for fat Xboxes. And that's about it. If you have any questions, you visit 7 Make an account. Come down to my tutorials. And I will be willing to help you here. No problem.